fellow explorers, in this video, I'm gonna show you around the Malibu Pier in Malibu, California. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. I'm starting this video out at the end of the pier on the bridge that connects the two buildings at the end. The first building is the Surfrider Studio. This is like a little gift shop that we're gonna go see more of downstairs. And then on the right is the Malibu Farms Cafe down there, a neat restaurant that we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna take a look at the beaches. We're gonna see this pier in one of California's most expensive coastal cities. But first, let's take a look at what we see off the end of the pier here. This beach in Malibu is known as Carbon Beach, which is often referred to as Billionaire's Beach because these houses are so expensive. There's a famous Nobu Sushi restaurant off there. The island you see in the distance that way, that is Catalina Island. Oh, it's a little windy as I walk this way, but this surf break out here is probably one of the most popular in California. It's um, the most famous because it's this long board wave that you can just kind of go on for a really long time, but you really do need big boards. All right, as we come down here, and take a look at this area between these two buildings. This is the line to get into the Malibu Farms Cafe and some more people coming up here to eat lunch. It's about one o'clock and so it is a great lunch time. Don't worry, we're gonna take a look at it from the other side, but there's Malibu Farms, the sit-down restaurant at the land side of the pier and here there's this casual one they've got tables out here where you can get a great view and that's why people like to come out to this one this one's a little bit quicker um i almost want to say cheaper but i'm not i'm not so sure about that but look at the views from these tables this is an amazing place to sit and eat so they do have a bunch of signs that they remind you that there are aggressive seagulls to protect your food and then inside it's a neat restaurant in here too Take a look at those views outside that window. Well, I guess you've probably already seen the views outside that window because you've been looking out here on the pier. Well, if we look out this way at the surf break, you can see this is an epic point break. And those waves go on and on forever. This is looking at it at about a 10x zoom. All right, continuing back from that Malibu Farms Cafe. What's the food here? Uh, it's kind of this, you know, fresh California coastal cuisine. Lots of leafy green sandwiches, big on breakfast and brunch items. This is a popular pier for fishing. You'll see there's a lot of areas to rest your fishing poles and the public restrooms are one and two here at the end of the pier. Though the whole time I've been here, there's been really long lines for it. All right, over here on the right, this is the gift shop at the end of the pier, which of all the California piers I've been to, this is the coolest gift shop on any pier. It's got a nice little California dreaming set up here. And this place, it doesn't just have like touristy junk, but there's actually like high quality things to buy in here. I mean, I guess it is Malibu, so, you know, these things are gonna be expensive. How much is the Bamford Grooming Department? I don't know, I can't see the price on that. Let's see, what's this one say? Oh, all the prices are worn off, of course. So, $48 for this sunscreen here on the pier. I mentioned it's Malibu, right? Uh, if we come over here, you can get all sorts of like pool toys to go in the water. If you need a wetsuit, if you want a tennis racket, if you want some surfboards, if you want some coolers, of course you want the LA Chargers, the new sports team. No comment since I'm originally from San Diego, which is where they moved from guitars. Because wouldn't you want to buy a guitar at the end of a pier? Swim fins to give you extra propulsion when you're out in the water. And while you're in this gift shop, there's great views of the beach outside. All right, if we go this way, they've got a whole thing of stickers that are back here. And then the staircase that goes up to the second floor. I'm gonna spare you the walk up there just so that we don't have to walk down too. But they've got all sorts of stuffed animals. Spunky Princess would really like these. But look, this is super cool. They have a pinball machine in here. It's called the Surf Champ, of course. That's a old classic pinball machine. Oh, if you're thirsty, you can pick up drinks in here. They've got cold brew teas, ginger, lemonade, kombucha, as you would get in Malibu. No, no simple Coke or Pepsi in there. Lots of those foofy, expensive drinks, but super neat gift shop. So definitely check this out if you come to the Malibu Pier. All right, so now let's work our way uh, back to the front of the pier. Oh, and they've got some like 
cool classic bicycles that I think are really just kind of props to have out here. All right, so heading our way down to the land side of the pier. Oh, and finally, if you've got kiddos with you, um, there's kind of these like what little boats that they can ride in. And if you're here to fish, um, they do sell like uh, um, bait and sardines and things like that for you to uh, catch your fish right there. All right. There's two main parking lots here in Malibu. There's one over here by the surf break, and then there's one just to this side of the pier. That's where I park today. That's one of the biggest challenges coming here. Is the parking $15 enter into that lot? It's all day parking. You're probably not gonna be here all day, but uh, expect parking to be a challenge because as you can tell, there are not many parking spaces. There's free parking along Pacific Coast Highway, the main road that runs through here. Um, but there's there's not a lot of it for sure. Now I mentioned this is a big fishing pier and so there's a lot of places uh, that's actually like designed to hook fishing poles into. So you can see this fisherman over here on the right, he had his resting in that holder. And oh, it looks like he's caught something. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Let's see, let's see. What's he got down there? Has he got something? Oh, no, no, I don't see it coming up. But you can see these things uh, are designed to hold the fishing poles in there. Well, I hope he pulls up something mighty tasty. All right, as we go this way, you can see the, the way the houses are set up here in Malibu is they're set up over the sand like this. They kind of connect on Pacific Coast Highway and then project over the sand on pylons. That's the way most of the oceanfront houses are. Malibu is kind of famous for people who live here uh, not wanting to have the public have access to the beach. And uh, you can imagine it's a, it's a nice beach to go to, but it is hard to find access from Pacific Coast Highway to the beach. You'll find little signs that'll say coastal access. And kind of the way it works is that what they call the mean high tide line, which is like the average part that gets wet by the sand. That's the part that's public land. And then underneath the houses is private, uh, but you can definitely walk all along that beach. Best time to come will be low tide if you really wanna explore the beach as far as possible. And uh, so now here, these are the two sit down Malibu farm restaurants. If you wanna eat here, then these are uh, waiter service or table service. And, uh, you know, I, I ate in Santa Monica earlier at uh, Pier Burger on the Santa Monica Pier before shooting this because I'm a, I'm a fast casual kind of guy. If I ate here today, I would have eaten at that one at the end because I like fast casual too. But if I were to sit for a long time and I want some place with a nice view, I mean like, look at this, this is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool place to sit, kind of neat vibe. Um, they're ready for Halloween as I was shooting this. And uh, then they got a sign that tells you, hey, that cafe at the end, that's what they sell. But the one at the end uh, does close a little bit early. What do they got at this thing? So you can see like their menu, big plates, cauliflower steak, $31, crispy skin salmon entree, $42, lobster mac and cheese, $42. So uh, if you're on a tight budget, then you might want to go to Jack in the Box across the way. There are these neat doors here at the end of the pier. And then this brings us to the noisy Pacific Coast Highway where we get the classic Malibu sport fishing, sport fishing pier sign. And if you want cheap, maybe not that tasty, but cheap eats, you'll find a Jack in the Box right there at the end. And if you need beach supplies, but you don't feel like walking all the way to the end of the pier, just right in the parking lot, they have a little shop where you can pick up inner tubes, uh, beach chairs, and those sorts of things. And also like another cool vibey store. I mean, this is really like California Instagrammable with all the yellow and the neon. I mean, I think I might have to come back and get me one of these Malibu beanies. What do you think? Oh, and if you're looking for another set of restrooms, there are some porta bodies in these little white structures right here in the parking lot. Did I mention Instagrammable? Look at this chair and these lips. This is set up just for you to take a selfie in front of. Well, since they put these lips here, I figured I should use them. Well, if you enjoyed the Malibu Pier, you might enjoy my video all about the Santa Monica Pier, just down to the south. It's a pier of a whole different variety, amusement park, rides, restaurants, a lot more attractions, but really cool too. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll either see you in this video right here or you can also find the link in the description below.